Hello everyone, this is Kitaneo Cha, and this is my Dragon Sheep Hybrid Challenge. This is my first voiceover, so let me know if you guys want to hear more of this or not. I'll still be doing speed paints and making art. I only did two dragons for this challenge because I got lazy but I already have two more hybrids picked out so if you guys want to see more of this just let me know in the comments and let's get right into it. So my first dragon that I got was a Nightwing Rainwing hybrid like Peacemaker but I wanted to change it up a little bit since Peacemaker was said to have rainbow scales on his wings I didn't really want to do something like that Plus, I think it's a little bold and first OC-like. I decided to make the body more broad, like a Nightwing's, slowly tapering into a more Rainwing-like body as it goes back. So the front talons and the front legs are more broad and strong, like a Nightwing's, while the back are more um, gentle looking, I suppose as well as I wanted to give her a prehensile tail. For her face, I decided to give her a broader snout, but I did include the Rainwing eyebrows because I feel they're very prominent and I really like them on the Rainwing design. I gave her quite small wings because Rainwings have smaller bodies and I wanted to give her a little bit of a weakness she cannot fly as well as Nightwings or Rainwings because of her large size in comparison to her smaller wings, but she is better at ground combat instead of in-flight combat, and so on. For her powers, she cannot breathe fire and she does not have death spit, as well as she cannot read minds or tell the future, but she does have the Komodo dragon-like bite of Nightwings, even though she did not grow up on the volcano island due to her Rainwing heritage. She still has her fangs, even though she cannot shoot venom, she can still inject venom when she bites down. Since she is mostly a Nightwing looking hybrid. I wanted to include frills on her body uh, behind her front legs because I felt that her rain wing needed a little bit more oomph, if that makes sense. For her color palette, I decided to go with a grayish purple color. It fades into more of a bluish tone towards her feet, and I wanted to give her wings, frills, and 
scales on her arms and legs, more of a sunset hue. On her underside of her wings, they have the sunset hue, but on the outer side, they have the regular Nightwing star pattern. I decided to give her green eyes, even though Nightwings usually have dark eyes. Starflight had green eyes, and it is also a common color to have green eyes as a Rainwing, so I wanted her to have that. she's finished. I don't really have a name for her yet, um, but you can leave in the comments what you think her name should be. I might give her away. I'm kind of attached to her, just a little bit, but I might sell her. I'm not sure. Still deciding. Let me know what you guys think. And for my next hybrid, I got a Leafwing and Seawing hybrid. Now, this guy ended up looking a little wacky, but I have a soft place in my heart for him anyways. I really wanted to pull out what I think maybe an awkward looking hybrid would look like. Since my last one ended up looking pretty elegant, I would say, I wanted this guy to look a little wonky, like how they said Sunny looked in the first few books. For his design, I decided to give him more of a sea wing-like body. 
having shorter legs and a longer tail and a stubbier neck, but I did give him a leaf wing like head and rear leg as well as leaf wing like wings and spines. I don't have much to say about the sketch of this guy, it's pretty straightforward. Although there are a few key elements that I really like about the way I designed him. I really like the leaf shape on the end of his tail. It kind of looks like a fin of sorts and would definitely help him move through the water. I also really like his chin things, which I made leaf shaped and I made them pink because I really like cherry blossom petals. So. For his color, I decided to go with a purplish color to bring out his sea wing side, and I'm not really sure what I had in mind that day when I drew these, but I really had a thing for gradients on the legs, so both my hybrids ended up having gradients of blue on their legs, which now looking back, I'm not really a huge fan of, but oh well. For his face, I decided to put some pink and purple in there, and for the wings, I decided to give him a gradient of bluish green to a more of a golden yellow color to bring out his leaf wing side. For this, I really just tried to mash together the two tribes as much as I could, and that's probably why he looks so funky, but honestly, I kind of like it. For his bioluminescent scales, I decided to go with a yellow golden color because I really wanted to bring out that leaf wing in him since leaf wings tend to have golden yellow scales along their bodies. So he's basically done. I like him. He looks really funky, but he's a good boy. For his powers, he doesn't have any. He can hold his breath for a while, but he doesn't have gills, so he can't really stay underwater for long. And his wings aren't very good for swimming. He can do a little bit of the photosynthesis that the leaf wings are capable of, but he doesn't really like hot temperatures because he's part sea wing and they like the cold ocean. So it's kind of not very balanced. His bioluminescent scales, he doesn't have as many of them as sea wings, so he can't speak aquatic properly. It kind of sounds like broken English, but like broken aquatic. So he struggles with that. Only his front talons are webbed, so he's not a very good swimmer and he just hangs out in possibility where he's accepted as his weird self. So that's that for my hybrid challenge. I kind of like these two, even though the second one looks really funky, and I don't have names for either of them, as I said before, so if you guys want to like name them, I'll, I'll pick them in my next video that I make, and I'll just put like a little excerpt saying, oh yeah, the names are out, here they are. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.
I have put a lot of... No. For his bioluminescent scales, he has golden yellow colors instead of normal seawing colors for his bioluminescent scales, which I already just... Okay, let's try that again. I also really like the leaf shape chin things that are... Yeah, under his chin. 